Yoga with Nicole. My name's Nicole, and this is my home. Today we're going to be doing a class called Go With The Flow, meaning it's a flow class, and it's just a simple, kind of familiar class that is sometimes all we need, you know? Just flowing between the asanas, focusing on breathing, focusing on the connection between the poses, and feeling good. So, I'm not gonna talk too much, we're just gonna do it. Let's head to our mats, we're gonna start in a seat. Just make it cozy. If you don't know my philosophy is that this class is for you. So if there's anything that I do that doesn't agree with your body, totally skip it. If you feel like I wanna hear Nicole's voice teaching a class, but I wanna lay in Shavasana the entire class, awesome, more power to you. Um, it should feel good to your body. So if anything doesn't, don't do it. Just listen. Excellent. So find that seat. Sit tall. Roll the shoulders back three times. So bring them slowly up to your ears. Melt down the back. I do that only because sometimes when we're like, I'm still, I'm zen, all of a sudden we tighten instead of just releasing. So let's practice by just surrendering. If there's any other movements that you need to be able to surrender to this moment, do them. You can power down those eyes. And notice how you're feeling in this moment. How are you today? And sitting here in just this simple seat, how can you release 5% more? Whatever that means to you. And as I always like to do, let's set an intention for the class. So just one word you feel like you want to connect to today. Maybe it's focus. Maybe it's patience. Maybe it's power. Whatever that word is, I want you to bring it to the space behind the third eye, a place of intuition, and we'll do three nice cleansing breaths. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. I'll lead you. Here we go. Inhale through the nose. And sigh it out through the mouth. Great. Inhale through the nose. Breathe in your one word intention. And sigh it out through the mouth. Last one, we'll make it our best. As you sigh out, imagine like you're fogging up a window and you're gonna draw a little heart or a smiley face. You know what I'm talking about. Here we go, inhale through the nose and sigh it out through the mouth. Nice, let those eyes flutter open. Just from here, take those hands to your knees if they aren't already there. And we're gonna begin as if there is a pencil stemming from the crown of our head and just start to draw tiny circles with the crown of your head. Just tiny. I even started a little bit too big. You can see I adjusted. Imagine a little pea and then a quarter and then a salad plate and then a dinner plate. My dinner plate's rather large. And then a volleyball. And then the widest circles you can make. Check that those sits bones are still rooted down into the earth so we're not peeling the booty up as we go, but really allowing the spine, the neck, the head to go with us. Being playful. There's no wrong way to do this. Ooh. Keep 
breathing. Maybe again, imagining that fogging up energy. That's the first step for our Unjayi breath. But don't worry too much about your breathing. As long as you're breathing deeply and remembering to stay present, we're all good. Reverse, reverse. Big wide circles the other way. Have some fun. I'm having my wall band a little bit of the way, which is normal, it's at home yoga. But normally I lean all the way back. And then make it a little bit smaller. I'm kind of spiraling a little bit here. Keep sitting tall, length through the crown of the head. A little bit smaller. Until we spiral to that quarter. penny, the dime, the P. The P is going to be so tiny. Stay here, linger here. And stillness. Nice. Once again, let's roll those shoulders back three times. Make it big, juicy rolls. Nice. And then we're going to come to our hands and knees into tabletop. Let's flow through a little cat-cow. Press down through the tops of those feet. Inhale, belly drops, gaze comes up. Exhale, pull the belly button back. Inhale, flowing through. Make it pretty like you're dancing. Exhale, release. Inhale, flow on through. Exhale, release. Let's do two more. Do it at your own pace. And then we'll meet back in our solid tabletop position. Press away from the earth. Tuck the lower ribs in so that we're engaged here. Now we're going to open the knees as wide as our mats. Toes come together. Bring that left hand to the center line of the mat. From here, take that right hand and what we're going to do is just place it on the lower spine. Almost like this is a little table here. And then, keeping those hips squared down, we're going to try not to move the hips but just the upper body, let's turn the heart to the sky. Press away from the earth so we don't want to dump here but stay engaged. Tuck the lower ribs in. You may feel it on the inner thigh of the left leg. Now it might be, you might be used to doing this twist which allows you to kind of twist more, but what I want you to concentrate on is keeping those hips square. Breathe. And release, now we're gonna switch. Right hand replaces where the left once was. Left hand to the lower back. Inhale, rotate the heart towards the ceiling, gaze can come up. Push away from the earth, nice deep breaths. making all those tiny adjustments to your form. Body scan. One more deep inhale. Exhale, coming back through center. Nice, let's drop the hips back. Extended child's pose, so let the head just drape down. Nice deep breath, filling up that rib cage, letting it expand and then contract. Breathe in that one word intention while we're here. Stay present, stay focused. Last few breaths. And let's slowly walk forward. Come back into our tabletop. Here we're gonna tuck the back toes. We're moving into a hovering table. So what we're gonna do, really press the earth away, turn the front of the arms forward, shining those flashlights from that little bend, and then just hover the knees off the mat. It doesn't look like much, but I promise you it's great for the core. And then you can hang out here, you have an option, or 
step and just touch the toe. We don't want to put any weight on the toes. Just touch it while keeping those hips square. So you want to move as little as possible while you're in your hovering table. Keep breathing. For five, four, you can keep tapping, three, two, one. Push back into your first downward dog. Nice. Pedal it out. Take some time here. Maybe bend the knees low and then peel up. Breathe into your downward dog. Let that head hang nice and heavy. Excuse me, I'm having to do a lot of pants adjusting today. <laughs> Keep breathing here. You're doing an excellent job. Look back to those toes, bend the knees. We're gonna walk the hands back to the feet. Nice forward fold here. Allow yourself a bend of the knees if that feels good. Shake the head yes, shake the head no. Maybe grab opposite elbow, let the weight of the arms lengthen you down, and maybe a nice sway side to side. Send a breath to that lower back. Beautiful, release the arms, root down into the feet, we'll slowly roll up. One vertebrae at a time. Head will be the last thing up. Find your mountain pose. And as always, do a little body scan for yourself. Grounding down to the feet, lift up through the quads, tuck the tailbone under, lower ribs. Come in, shoulders roll down, length through the crown. Tallest version of yourself. Nice. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. So it can be on the floor, shins, or tops of the thighs. Exhale, release. Deep bend to the knees, reverse swan dive all the way up. Gather the energy above you. Pull it to the heart. On an exhale. Let's do it again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Deep bend to the knees, reverse swan dive all the way up. Feel the energy between your palms. Exhale, pull it down to the heart. Last time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold. This time, bend those knees, walk the hands forward, and find your downward dog again. Beautiful, walk those feet together, toes touching heels slightly apart. Inhale the right leg up to the sky. Look between those hands, step on through. Lower the back knee, low lunge. Hang out here, or inhale, arms up. Soften your gaze, release your jaw. Nice, another deep inhale, lengthen through the fingers. Exhale, cactus arms, bend those elbows, open the heart to the sky. Difficult back bend for balance, you got this. Inhale, back up. Exhale, hands come down, we're gonna pull back into half splits. Allow yourself as much bend as you need to that knee. As much bend of the knee to that knee. <laughs> Beautiful, lengthen through the crown of the head, long spine. Flex these toes back to your nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Breathe here. If any place feels tight, send a breath to that area. For me, it's my hamstrings. One more deep inhale. Exhale, roll on through. 
pop that back knee up. And then we're going to drop the heel, making our way to warrior two. Beautiful. Now once you get here, check in. As if the feet are ripping the mat in half, notice if the weight is equally distributed. Fingers, pinkies reach back. Shoulders melt down the back. Bend. Nice. Beautiful. Now we'll straighten that front leg. We're gonna turn that front hand up, reverse triangle. So palms come down, just barely touch. Reach that arm up. So we're working with opposites, right? The lift up, the rooting down. Breathe. It also feels like the end of a musical number, so you can feel like you're doing that too. <laughs> nice. Let's rotate forward. We're gonna do traditional tri uh, triangle pose. Reach, reach, reach as far as you can until you can no longer reach anymore. Pause here, and then this hand is just gonna float down wherever it lands. That's where we're hanging out. Other arm comes up. Just as we did with reverse pyramid, reverse triangle rather, palm is just gonna be light here. We wanna focus on the lift. Breathe. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come back up through. Warrior two. And then we'll windmill down, frame the foot, step back into plank. From here, lower the knees, tuck those elbows in, and we're gonna lower, go really, really slow. Keep the elbows tucked in. Use the core, nice. Beautiful, once you're down, plant that pelvis bone into the earth, roll the shoulders back, inhale up. Cobra, exhale down. Nice, tuck those toes. Inhale, on the exhale, push up into plank, and then back into our downward dog. Nice, toes come together, heels slightly apart. Inhale, left leg up. Look between those hands, step on through. Nice and gentle. Come up to the top of the thigh, or inhale, arms up. Femur bone pulls back, hips are square. <sighs> Relax those shoulders, widen those arms. So careful not to be too narrow here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, open the heart, cactus arms. <sighs> Keep breathing. You got this. Inhale up. Exhale, paint those hands down. Shift those hips back. Find these half splits, flex those toes. Move slowly, right? Check in, each side's gonna feel a little bit different. Maybe give yourself a nice little bend there. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Keep breathing. Breathe in that one word intention, stay focused. Last couple of breaths. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, roll through the foot. Pop up, drop the heel, and make it pretty. You make your way to warrior two. Nice. Strong warrior. Soften any muscles in the face. Check in with the tongue, as weird as that is. It's a muscle, and it can get tense. Beautiful. Straighten that front leg, and then once again, we're just gonna rotate back. Reverse triangle. You might even wanna check in. Can you dance this arm out so we're not just dumping, but lifting? Here we go. Rotate up. 
Reach, reach, reach as far as you can. Drop this hand first. Okay, that's where my hand's gonna be. And then open up. I like a creative image, so I always like to imagine like the bodies between these two panes of glass. And so you're tucking the booty in, lifting up, finding your balance, and breathing. Keep going, last few breaths. And inhale back for center, warrior two. And then we'll rotate down. Step back into plank, lower those knees, and again, tuck the elbows in, nice and slow. Lower on down. Once you're down, roll the shoulders back, cobra or baby cobra. So baby cobra's up here. I rather full cobra's here, baby cobra's here. Both will strengthen, strengthen the spine. And then your choice if you want to pass through plank or push up into hands and knees and back up to your downward dog. Take a breath. Let's do a nice cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Excellent. Let's look between those hands. Baby step to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Now bring those toes together, heels slightly apart. And then deep bend of the knees. Nice deep bend. Chair pose. <laughs> You've got this. Instead of thinking about up, think about out. Like you're about to give a bear hug to someone and reach the booty back like you're gonna sit down in a chair. You should be able to wiggle those front toes. And why not try wiggling your fingers too? Squeeze those inner thighs together. And guess what? We're getting so wrapped up in being like, oh, my thighs, my thighs. Do a little dance with the arms. <laughs> Have some fun, it may feel silly, but honestly your legs are working the same way, but all of a sudden, it doesn't feel as hard, right? You can Macarena, if that's your, if you know how to Macarena. Last few breaths, sink the hips back for three, two, one, inhale up, mountain pose. Oh yeah, nice, you've got this. Find stillness. Deep breaths. Notice how you're feeling. Beautiful. Let's bring the hands into prayer in front of us. Shift the weight over to the left foot. So just pop the heel of the right foot. On your next inhale, like there's a string on your knee, and Mariana is just lifting it up to a 90 degree angle, one-legged Tadasana, one-legged mountain pose. Breathe, stand tall, even taller than you think. And then trust your body. We're gonna slowly transition, you've got this, go slow, to high lunge. So the back foot, heel is popped. Nice balance. We won't stay here too long. Inhale, arms up, if that feels good. If you're worried about balance today, hang out in that prayer. We're just gonna do a little twist here. So inhale, lengthen through the fingers. Exhale, open up to the left side. Soft focus, energy beyond both fingers. And inhale up. Exhale, hands down, and we're just gonna turn over to the right side. Let the head hang. So turn the toes slightly in, heels a little bit out, and allow yourself some dancing. So bending one knee, then the other. Get those inner thighs ready. And then just relax down. Shift the weight forward into the toes. Again, let that head relax. Length. Maybe you're able to plant the fingers even with the feet. 
and tuck the elbows in. Maybe even your head reaches down to the floor. Mine does not today. Breathe into this pose. Such an awesome pose. We're putting the head below the heart. We're activating those hamstrings. Great for the lower back. A couple more deep breaths here. Nice. Wherever you're at, let's bend the knees and watch this. We're going to walk the hands over to the left side, rotate to this lunge, this runner's lunge, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to try to bend this back leg and step it up with the front. If it doesn't work for you, that's okay. But really put the weight into that front foot. We'll bend. Two, three, bop, boop. And we're in a forward fold. But however you get there is perfect. Take some breaths, release the head, and we'll root down into the feet and roll up. Nice. Mountain pose. Release those shoulders. Energize the lower body. And hands into prayer. Shift the weight over to the right side. So popping up the heel of this left foot. Try to keep those hips square. So what I try to avoid is this. <laughs> right? It looks cool when you're hanging out with your friends at the mall. But in yoga, we want to keep that alignment so the hips are square. So try to barely move, just like we did in that floating table. And just like there's a marionette lifting you up, find that one-legged Tadasana. Stand tall. You might feel a shake. That's okay. And then trust yourself, moving backwards, stepping backwards, planting the toes. Gaze is straight ahead. You might want to bend that back knee just to encourage that little tuck of the tailbone. Remember, we're going to do that twist. So here we go. Inhale, arms up. Totally welcome to stay here and twist with the hands in prayer, if that feels better. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, open up. So feel a kind of scissoring effect with the inner thighs. Keep breathing. Focus on that one word intention, right? If you find your brain is making the grocery list, planning dinner, whatever it may be, that's normal. But we use that intention to bring us back. And inhale up, exhale, release down. And once again, we'll turn to the other way. Release the head, dance it out. Do what you need to do. This time we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna tiptoe the fingers over to the right foot. And we're gonna create a grip either on the shin, the ankle, or wrapping all 10 fingers around the outside and sticking it underneath the foot. You're gonna relax your head, the left temple to your arm, and then a nice deep bend of that left leg. It may feel strange, but it's an excellent stretch for this inner thigh. It's also awesome for the arm, the left arm, the shoulder. Just let the head relax and you can play, right? We're playful about our entire practice. Where are we at today? Last couple of breaths here. And let's release. Come back through center, do a little finger dance over to the left foot. Shin, ankle, or top, or wrapped around the outside of the foot. Head relaxes. 
Inhale. On the exhale, bend that right leg. Feel that nice deep stretch. Encourage that surrender we talked about at the top, that release. Breathe into areas that feel tight. Last few breaths. And let's release coming back through center. Allow yourself one more moment to hang out. And then once again, here we go. This is where we get kind of funny. We're going to bend that front leg, shift into our lunge, and we're going to try to step up. Play with the weight distribution. And a one, a two, a three. And if you fell, cool. It's okay. Totally fine. We're at home, right? Beautiful. Let's toe heel the feet as wide as your mat. Let your toes spill off the mat. So they're almost at a diagonal. And then from here, nice and slow, drop those hips into our yoga squat. If this is incredibly difficult for your hips, totally stack some cushions underneath your booty. Keep your hands on the floor. We're not gonna stay here too long. And if your heels don't touch the ground, that's okay. If you're up here, that's fine. Then if you want to bring the hands to prayer, you can do that. Lengthen through the crown of the head and press the knees in, elbows out. So they're playing against each other in a beautiful way. Lengthen the spine. Breathe into those hips. And then we'll see if this transition works for your body. If it doesn't, don't worry. But we're going to take the hands behind us. We're just going to slowly lower to the booty. Nice. Beautiful. We're going to cool down now. So right leg out. Left leg to the inner thigh. And open it up. Nice bend to that right knee to start. Dial the heart the top of the leg, so we're facing heart to toes. Inhale, arms up, reach up and over. Fold and wherever your hands land, on the ground, on your leg, on your foot, hang out there. Let your head release. You wanna keep that right foot flexed. And I've spoke of this pose before, the longer you hold this pose, the more you're going to feel a release. So a great restorative option is actually stacking a bunch of pillows and letting your head just hang out on those, right? And the joy of doing this on YouTube is you could pause this video and go get some cushions. Last few breaths. And we'll rise up. We're actually going to bring the left knee up and then bring the foot over. We're going to do a little twist here. So you can do, you have some options. You can do this or you can bend that right leg and bring it back. Here, I'll show you what it looks like from the front. So the important part is we want to really ground that right foot into the earth and then keep both sits bones rooted into the ground. If you find your booty is peeling up just a little too much, keep that right leg out. You're going to get the benefits either way. Left hand comes to the base of the spine. I need like a lazy Susan for my body. Left hand to the base of the spine. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, twist. Gaze is over that shoulder. Sit tall. Each inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. Each exhale, just really see if you can twist a little further without cranking. Breathe. Making sure we're not relying too much on this hand. It just encourages us to sit taller. One more deep inhale. 
on the exhale, we'll float forward. We're gonna do the other side. So actually, let's reverse it. What? So from here, if you're here, we're gonna do, I used to have a yoga teacher that called this the Moulin Rouge, where we're just gonna boop, 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 reverse. If you're like, what did that pretzel woman just do? We're just bending or straightening the left leg and rut leg is coming over. Have I been saying the wrong foot this whole time? You guys know what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> so here we go. Options are left foot out or left foot bent. Then right hand comes to the base of the spine. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, twist. Check in with those sits bones. Check in with the intention. See if you can take that breath and allow it to travel all the way down to the lower back, to the lower belly. Last few breaths here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, float forward. And now, wherever you're at, we're gonna reverse it. So flex the left foot, right foot to the inner thigh. Dial the heart over the leg. Slight bend of that left knee. Inhale, arms up. Lengthen and over. Wherever you fall, you fall. And breathe. See if you can relax 5% more. One more deep inhale. On the exhale, roll on up. Beautiful. You have options here. We're going to end our practice today. So you can go into Shavasana, corpse pose, lying on your back, palms face up, feet out. You can return to your initial position here or end in the cobbler's pose, which is feet kissing, knees open. I love to be a bit against the wall lately. It's just kind of like a restorative version. You decide what you wanna do. Go with the flow, right? Allow the eyes to flutter shut wherever you're at. And I'm going to ask you again, how are you? Notice any differences in the body. And one more time, let's bring that one word intention behind the space of our third eye. We'll do one more cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose and sigh out through the mouth. Beautiful. And then bringing the hands in prayer wherever you are, lying on your back or here. We'll bring the thumbs to the center of the forehead for wisdom, to the center of the mouth for freedom, and to the center of the heart for love. Thank you so much for joining me today. We have a new class every Monday. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend, and let this practice inspire you. Come back to it over and over again and see how your body changes. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Thank you all. See you soon.